Hey guys, so today is part two of my Sephora VIB haul. This video is dedicated strictly to makeup. Part one was skincare and hair care, so if you're interested, please click the link below and you can watch that video too. Um, but let's get started like, with like I did with the skincare. I kind of gravitated towards certain brands. So I'll start with Hourglass. Uh, I love Hourglass products. I love their mineral veil. I love all the ambient lighting powders, um, the blushes, lipsticks, you name it, I love it. So I picked up the ambient lighting powder in Radiant Light, I believe. Yes, Radiant Light. I didn't have this one, but uh, I've swatched it so many times and this gives you just a really nice summertime glow. Um, this is the darkest one that they have in the collection. And I'm wearing it today. Again, it's so subtle, but it's just really, really beautiful. But you can see it kind of has like that bronze to it. So if you're looking for more of a subtle highlight, I would suggest going with this versus uh, like a shimmer brick from Bobbi Brown or the Becca shimmering powders because that, I got the opal in the Becca and whoo, if you want to highlight, that's where you're going to go. Um, it's insane. So um, I picked that up and then the other thing from Hourglass that I got is their Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. So it's just a tinted moisturizer. A fancy way to say tinted moisturizer. So I got the color Nude and this just comes in the squeezy tube. I went uh, probably like a month ago to Sephora and got a sample and I got color matched because I knew I was going to probably buy it come this this VIB sale uh, just because I use the same like BB cream tinted moisturizer whatever combo every single day and it just gets really boring um, I've been using the it cosmetic CC cream mixed with a dr. Jart black label BB cream and I mean they're great products like do not get me wrong um, I mix them because the colors one's a little bit too dark and the other one's too light so together they make a great combination but when I was in the store talking to one of the employees she was telling me with the com with the BB creams since they're for like blemished skin which I do have um, normally blemished skin people think oily skin so with BB creams that it draws a lot of the moisture into your skin um, up and out of out and I don't need that because I have dry skin and I want my moisture locked in so it was suggested that I go with more of a tinted moisturizer versus a BB cream so um, I'm really excited to give this a try. Now, it was my understanding that this was a product that was reformulated and, and repackaged. Now, I've had the tinted moisturizer from Hourglass before when it was in a actual bottle. And I thought it was drier than this, but I read on a blog that they didn't change the formula, they just changed the packaging. So I'm not really 100% sure on that. Hopefully they did change the formula a little bit or I just need to like shake the other product up. But um, I'm really excited to give this a shot tomorrow. And then in line with not liking my current routine for uh, tinted moisturizers or BB creams, I have been struggling with finding a really good like foundation brush. Um, I have been using my Real Techniques brush let me find them just so I can show you a comparison of everything here they are okay so I've been using this and I think this is like the buffing yeah the buffing brush and this is a great great brush um, more so I would say for foundation than for a tinted moisturizer I think it does a really good job of spreading everything around but it's not very dense so a tinted moisturizer is already more lightweight um, has less coverage than a foundation and with that being said, I really want as much coverage as I can get with a tinted moisturizer. So I think this is shearing it out too much. So I thought, okay, I will try the other brush. This is the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. So you can see it's really dense, very small. Now, I don't think I have enough movability of the product um, with this brush. I think it dries too quick and you just, you don't spread it enough. Um, so. I was looking for something kind of in between these two brushes so I went to the Sephora Pro section at the Sephora and found this. This is the number 46. This is a Pro Flawless 
bronzing brush. Now, I love synthetic fiber, that's what this is. I love that it's a short handle, um, so you can just like really get a really good grip of it and you are more precise, I think, in your buffing. So this is about the same size as the buffing brush, maybe a little bit smaller, and more dense. So totally what I was looking for, so excited that I found it. Um, the only complaint, I tried it once, and I think just because my skin's been so dry that you don't want to be like buffing, buffing, buffing because you're just moving the skin around. So I would suggest kind of just buffing and then patting. Buff a little, pat, and uh, I think okay, you'll have so a So the really next nice products are from NARS, and I got three different things. Uh, the first is definitely, I think, a cult favorite. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I picked it up in the color Custard, so that's medium one. I, I try to skimp sometimes on under eye concealer and just get it from the drugstore, but I have not found anything that is creamy, doesn't crease, and doesn't bring attention to the dryness under my eyes. I tried this today and I must say I absolutely love it. I haven't had any creasing problems and you couldn't tell that my under eyes are insanely dry. So I definitely think that custard is more of a universal color than vanilla just as an FYI, I feel like so many people talk about vanilla, but when I tried it at the store, I mean, that's like really, really light, like really, really light. Whereas I think with the custard, that's more um, for like everybody. It's not as dark as I think a lot of people on YouTube kind of make it out to be. So that's just like my word of advice, but definitely you can tell this is gonna be like my favorite, favorite under eye concealer. And then I also picked up the Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner, and I got this in the color black, but it's called Via Viento. So it's very long wearing, like the name says, but I saw a lot of people get this color, the creamy, like the creamy neutral color to put in their uh, waterline. And I like dark colors on my waterline or just like on my eyes in general um, in terms of eyeliner. I think they make my eyes pop and a lot of people think black's too harsh, but I'm not really one of those people. So it just, it's very black and it does not budge. So it's exactly what I was looking for, very basic. Um, just a good eyeliner to have in your arsenal. And then the last product I got from NARS is one of their satin lip pencils. And I was scrolling through Instagram like I always do. And I stopped dead in my tracks on this one photo because the girl's lip color was so gorgeous. Her name's Ivy Makeup and she's a makeup artist. And I normally don't comment on people's photos, but I did on hers. And she actually replied and told me what color it was. So it's this color, it's called Manser. And I think it might be part of their fall collection, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's what it looks like. Great fall winter color. Definitely kind of on the terracotta side. Um, it's just like a nice ruddy brown color. Kind of like chestnut. I don't know. But super pretty, so I'm glad I got that. And then the next two products are both lip products. Uh, one is by Buxom. It's the True Nude Lip Foundation, and I got this in the color Buff. Um, I think a lot of people have already talked about this, and they love it, but I just now got it. Um, I, I love Buxom products. It's just, these are super creamy, and I wanted one with, like, no pink in it, just because I try to, like, neutral uh, neutralize my lips because they are very pigmented. So I like that just even on its own, but these are nice to have under even if you're wearing like a lipstick just to kind of keep it on a little bit longer. And then the last lip product I got was totally an impulse buy. I watched Lisa Lisa D one's video before I went and she mentioned this as a Rosie Huntington Whiteley lip color. Sold. Sold. Um, I'm always looking for that kind of like her lip color because it's so natural. I don't know, but I know since she's the face of Burberry that her favorite is blush by Burberry at the lipstick and then in the lip gloss camo. So I think I just kind of need to suck it up and just buy those colors because I love this color. Um, this is the Rouge Dior Balm in 740 Escapade, but I don't think it's 
totally what I was going for for the Rosie Huntington Whitley kind of look. But I'm really surprised at how long lasting and pigmented these are. So that's the balm. Um, I tried it with MAC Spice Lip Liner and I think maybe that made it look a little bit darker than it normally is. So I'm going to try it with just a lighter lip, lip pencil and hopefully that will make the whole look of the lip be a little bit different. And then the last two products, um, this is Give Me Brow from Benefit and I feel like a lot of these products have been talked about so, so much. But um, I think I got the lighter, yeah, I got the light to medium, and I have it in my eyebrows today along with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Love this. Love this. This has some fibers in it. Make sure you just kind of take the extra uh, product and scrape it off on the side because you get a lot on the brush. But it's just so nice and tiny because otherwise it'll be like too much glumpy, clumpy, glumpy, <laughs> whatever you want to say, just too much on the eyebrows. So make sure you uh, dilute that a little bit before putting it on. But I love that. And then the last product is from Laura Mercier and it's probably my favorite. And I kind of just stumbled upon it in the store on accident. Um, there was somebody in my way when I was trying to look at all the Laura Mercier products. So I just like, okay, I guess I'll stand right here and look. and. I'm so glad I did. This is a baked eye color and you can use these wet or dry and I haven't tried it wet so I can only imagine how much more pigment you would get when it's wet. But this is the eyeshadow in hot chocolate, baked baked eyeshadow in hot chocolate. It is insane how gorgeous it is and how much product you get. Like I think there's like eight colors I want to say in total. Um, this I would I mean, it's obviously the most gorgeous. That's why I bought it. But I have it on my lid today. And that's what it looks like. Oh, it's just so... I mean, it literally just looks like hot cocoa. See? I have it on my eyes today with... All I have um, on my eyelid is all that glitters. And then I have it in the crease and then just kind of buffed it out. So... This is definitely a must. Like you have to so that is everything out. that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.